In this presentation, we will understand the concept of unpacking a tuple. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is unpacking a tuple. The second topic is use of asterisk in unpacking a tuple. So, let's get started with the first topic that is unpacking a tuple. Before understanding the meaning of unpacking, we first have to be familiar with the concept of packing. So, let's understand what is packing a tuple. Packing means assigning values to a tuple. So, when we create a tuple, we assign values to that tuple. So, when we are assigning values to a tuple, we are packing the tuple. So, this is the concept of packing. Now, what is the meaning of unpacking? Unpacking means extracting values of a tuple. It is just opposite to what packing does. Packing means assigning values to a tuple. But unpacking means extracting values from a tuple and put them inside variables. So, when we extract values from a tuple and put them in variables, this concept is called unpacking. We know already how packing works. We know how to create a tuple and assign values to a tuple. We have done this already. But now let's learn how to unpack a tuple. For this, we will take one simple example. So let's open the command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now let's type this command cars equal to Audi, Mercedes, BMW. So there are a total of three items in this tuple. These are values or items we have assigned to this tuple cars. As we have assigned values to this tuple, this is called packing. Now let's see how to unpack this tuple. Unpacking means extracting values of a tuple and assign them to variables. Now we will unpack this tuple. For this, we need to create three different variables because we have three values here. Each variable will receive one item of this tuple. In the sequence, we write those variables. So, the first variable will receive the item Audi. The second variable will receive the item Mercedes. And the third variable will receive the item BMW. So, let's create three different variables, car1, car2, car3. And let's unpack this tuple. Let's type car1, car2, car3 equal to cars. This assignment expression will allow us to unpack this tuple. Here, in the left hand side, we need to mention the variables. These variables are car1, car2 and car3. These variables are comma separated. In the right hand side of the assignment expression, we need to specify the name of the tuple. So here the tuple name is cars. So this simple assignment expression allows us to unpack this tuple. Car1 will receive the item Audi, Car2 will receive the item Mercedes and Car3 will receive the item BMW. To verify this, let's first type Car1, then Car2 and then Car3. Let's do this. First, let's type Car1. Let's hit enter. We are getting Audi. Now let's type Car2 and hit enter. We are getting Mercedes. And now let's type car 3 and hit enter. We are getting BMW. This clearly explains how unpacking works. We have successfully extracted values of this tuple. Now I hope it is clear how let's unpacking Let's move on to the works. next topic that is use of asterisk in unpacking a tuple. So what is the use of asterisk in unpacking a tuple? Asterisk is used when the number of variables are less than the values of a tuple. So, if there are more values in the tuple, but the variables are less, then we can use asterisk in front of the last variable and the last variable will receive all the remaining values of the tuple. This is the power of asterisk. To see this in action, we will consider one simple example. Let's open our command prompt. Now, Let's consider this cars tuple, cars equal to Audi, Mercedes, BMW, Toyota and Ford. 
So there are a total of five items in this tuple. Let's say that we decided to create only three variables. As the variables are less than the items in this tuple, we need to put asterisk in front of the last variable to successfully unpack this tuple. So let's type this command car1, car2, star car3 or asterisk car3 equal to cars. Here car1 will receive Audi, car2 will receive Mercedes, but car3 will receive all the remaining values of this tuple. This means car3 will receive BMW, Toyota and Ford because asterisk or star is used in front of car3. Now let's verify this. Let's first type car1. Let's hit enter. We are getting Audi. Let's now type car2. Let's hit enter. We are getting Mercedes. Now let's type car3 and let's hit enter. We are getting BMW, Toyota and Ford and that too within a list. So I hope it is clear what is the use of asterisk. When the variables are less than the items of the tuple, then we can use asterisk in front of the last variable to successfully unpack the remaining values. Now what happens if we put asterisk in front of other variables? Let's say we decided to put asterisk in front of car2. What happens in that case? If asterisk is used with the variable other than the last variable, then the values are assigned until the values left matches the variables left. This statement will be more clear with the help of an example. So let's open our command prompt once again and let's consider the same car's tuple Audi, Mercedes, BMW, Toyota and Ford. Now let's type this command car1, star car2, car3 equal to cars. Here star or asterisk is used in front of car2. We know that the first variable will receive Audi, but what about the second variable? According to this statement, if asterisk is used with a variable other than the last variable, then the values are assigned until the values left matches the variables left. So, car2 will receive Mercedes. BMW, Toyota. According to this statement, the values are assigned until the values left matches the variables left. There is only one value left here and there is only one variable left here. As the variables left matches with the values left, therefore only these three values will be assigned to car2. This value will be assigned to car3. This is what is written here. If asterisk is used with the variable other than the last variable, then the values are assigned until the values left matches the variables left. Now let's hit enter and verify our results. Let's type car1. Let's hit enter. We are getting Audi. Let's type car2. Let's hit enter. We are getting Mercedes, BMW and Toyota. Only these three items in this list. Now let's type car3 and let's hit enter. We are getting Ford as the result. I hope with this it is clear how asterisk works. So with this we are done with all the topics of this presentation. Ok friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.